Hey survivors, in this video I'm going to be talking about how narcissists react to this information. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsrivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narc Survivor store. We have new designs in our t-shirts, tank tops and mugs. The link to the Narc Survivor store is in the video description. How do narcissists react to this information? The videos on this channel, as well as many others, are helping survivors of narcissistic abuse. They are providing you with further knowledge and understanding of what you have been through. But what happens when a narcissist discovers this information? How do they react to it? Many narcissists will be indifferent to this information. They won't have any particular interest in the information or any sympathy for the victims. They live in their own world where they believe that they know everything and they are the experts at everything. They may not have any knowledge of human behavior or have the mental capacity to understand it, but regardless of this, they still believe that they know everything and they are always right. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities or importance. These types of narcissists who are indifferent to this information are not going to take the time to understand it. They are going to do anything else in their lives rather than trying to develop an awareness or an understanding of what is going on. Some narcissists will be in denial. They have limited or no self-awareness, so they cannot see these traits within themselves. They cannot identify that their behavior is inappropriate. Even if they do have some level of self-awareness, they will invent justifications to feel as though they are right in how they feel or act. By doing this, they remain in denial and end up normalizing their behavior. Some narcissists will experience delusional thinking. As a defense mechanism, they hold these peculiar beliefs or impressions that are contradicted by reality or rational argument. They often create their own observations or connections which are not based on any facts or logic. It's just something that they want to believe in their minds. It validates them, makes the situation seem more favorable to them, so, th so they use it as a coping mechanism. Anyone with a certain level of knowledge or experience in narcissism will quickly identify that their observations or connections are not based on reality. They are only used to help them cope and to justify their inappropriate behavior.
Some narcissists will find this information and then project it on everyone around them, rather than reflecting and seeing these traits within themselves. Although it is likely that they may also have narcissists around them as well. Some narcissists will actually be curious about this information. They are not going to use it to help anyone, but instead they will use it to improve their knowledge and obtain narcissistic supply from being perceived as being intelligent. They may also use this information to be more efficient and effective at their manipulation. They might identify that we are onto some of the some of the tactics that they use, and then they will make the necessary modifications to remain undetected. Narcissists may act as though they don't have any weaknesses or vulnerabilities, and as though they are stronger than you. But this is actually to compensate for how fearful and insecure they feel. If they discover one of these videos on my channel or one of the others, they will immediately feel exposed. They will feel shame, threatened, as though someone is attacking them. Their feelings of shame will then cause a narcissistic injury followed by anger or rage. They may then project and say that survivors of narcissistic abuse are too sensitive, hyper-reactive, or that they are the real narcissists, as I have seen someone comment on one of my videos. They may recognize survivors of narcissistic abuse being sensitive, or hyper-reactive, which is understandable and completely normal because of their association with the trauma. But they cannot recognize that they are also easily triggered and act on their out-of-control emotions. They are just trying to justify their inappropriate behavior, normalize it, and then shift the blame onto the real victims. When a narcissist views this information, they are likely to react aggressively. This aggression could be directed to the creator of the video, the viewers, or even someone who has nothing to do with the information. Someone who just happens to be there at the time. They might leave comments disputing the information in the video without an adequate explanation or comments that have nothing to do with the information that is presented in the video. They might make personal attacks or threats to the creator of the video or in a reply to one of the comments. This is designed to intimidate you. It might be something they do once or they might continue to come back. They continue to come back and they continue to feel threatened and exposed by the information that I am presenting in these videos. It really makes no logical sense. If you don't like these videos, why do you keep coming back to them? Why do you keep coming back to them just to feel threatened by them? And then you want to intimidate the viewers who do find some level of validation or fulfillment from these videos. Why can't you just leave them to watch these videos and get the information that they are looking for 
instead of hating on me or them without an adequate explanation or any constructive criticism. The reason why you keep coming back to these videos, the reason why you keep hating on me or hating on the viewers, really has nothing to do with any of us. You feel threatened by the information I am sharing on this channel and it has created some level of fear or uncertainty within you. But instead of coming back and identifying why it makes you feel a certain way and then making the necessary changes within yourself, you want to take it out on me or the viewers who are trying to use this information to improve their lives. These videos are not meant for you. They were not designed to appeal to your interests or benefit you in any way. You keep coming back because they have created a certain feeling within you, which you feel that you cannot regulate or resolve without coming back to the source. But you're not going to regulate or resolve anything by coming on you and attacking people. You're just obsessed with these videos because they're not playing out in the way that you would like. And you feel the need to punish people on you because you feel wronged or disrespected by the information that I am giving out in these videos. You feel as though I am challenging your sense of power and control. If you don't like the, the way a video makes you feel, that's probably a sign that you need to leave it alone. Those of you who do find some level of validation or fulfillment in these videos, Continue to watch the videos and share your thoughts in the comments. These videos help to give you further knowledge and understanding of your situation. It is healing for you to communicate with other survivors. I hope that this video resonated with you and I will have more videos coming very soon. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store, where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.